It's the Happy Families Podcast. Okay, Kylie, so technically we're on holidays, but we're trying to keep the podcast going through the break. We've got some great content for summer, but we're going to keep it really short, really tight. This is the busiest week of the year. We've got Christmas. Um, it's, it's this week. It's this Sunday. Christmas. Can you believe it? Uh, before we dive into three secrets to getting through the busiest week of the year, you found something on Instagram, and we kind of just have a – we've got to have a listen to this for any – for any parent of a teenager or someone who's going to be a parent of a teenager one day, just bear this in mind and say this to them when they're giving you some attitude. I want to talk to the teenagers right now who get annoyed with their mom. I got to tell you something. There was a time when you loved her so much. You were so obsessed with your mom that you would beg to watch her poop. That's right, you would sit outside her door, banging and crying to be let in. And if she gave up and opened that door to let you in, you know what you tried to do? You tried to sit on her lap, like some kind of sicko stalker weirdo, okay? So the next time you start looking at your mom, feeling too good for her, she's getting on your nerves, remember that. <laughs> so good. So that is Anna.Lind.Thomas. Anna.Lind.Thomas. We found her on Instagram. She's also on TikTok and she's pretty darn funny. She says some funny <laughs> stuff. Anyway, busiest week of the year, Kylie. Let's get down to it because people are busy and they don't want to listen to too much comedy on Instagram. They, they can find it themselves. They want to hear from you. How do we keep calm? How do we hold it together? How do we make everything work when it comes to getting through a week like this? Instead of me giving the advice today, this is your specialty because this week I kind of – well, I take the kids surfing, I take them to the beach, I hang out and watch movies with them. You're the one that's doing all the hard work. So, what's your advice? I've just got three bits of advice. Okay, number one, hit us with it. Be intentional. You need to plan. If oh, you've got four okay. days leading up to Christmas, what do those four days look like? You don't have to have every minute taken into account, but you need to know what are the most important things you need to get done. You just want a to-do list. Is that what you're saying? A to-do list? Yeah, I guess so. Just just make sure the important things are done because we can so easily get sidetracked with all of the trivial stuff and then come Christmas Day, we're flustered because none of the stuff that was important got done in the lead up. So, but that's also part of the reason that I'm – on my list, I've actually got a list of all the stuff that I've had to chase up, uh, but – on my list every day is play with the kids. That's right. Because I don't want to get to Christmas Day and be like, oh my goodness, we're, we're halfway through the holidays already and I haven't even spent any time with the kids. So put that on the list as well. What's your second idea other than being intentional? Learn to say no. Oh, It's so easy, again, to just say yes to everything because you don't want to miss out. So, you want the kids to have the excitement of, you know, going to all the Christmas parties and being with their friends. But if it doesn't fit in with the family plan, then you just need to say no. So what have you said no to? Well, we've said no to a couple of things. Have we? Yeah, we oh, had a community. I didn't Chris, even know. We had a community Christmas party, which we, uh, yeah, which yeah, we yeah. just, it just didn't fit in. Yep, yep, for the school. Yeah. Oh, and there was also the uh, the church one that we didn't go to as well because it, it didn't fit. We just couldn't make it happen. You know what I've been doing? I've been uh, getting text messages, emails and phone calls from uh, media outlets saying, we need you on the radio. Can you do an interview for us? Can you? And I've been saying, I'm, I'm not taking any interviews across summer. I'm with my family. Uh, in fact, I've tried not to answer the phone at all, but every now and again I've answered it and then I've had to say no to them. Well, unfortunately, if you didn't answer the phone, we might not have known that our daughter was sitting on the side of the road which is why I've got to answer the phone, right? I mean, I, I have to answer the phone. Um, what's your third one? Other than you've got be intentional, say no. Well, after the last few weeks that we've had and the situations we've found ourselves in, it might look and feel like it's out of place, but it actually fits in beautifully. It's people matter, things don't. Right. And, and oh, yeah. when we think about Christmas, we get so caught up often in all of the stuff. Mm. But the reality is what matters most is the people in your life and that they know that they're loved and time with them is so much more beneficial and strengthening to the family unit than any gift. Yeah, great reminder. And, and, and if the kids are giving you attitude, just remind, just remind them, when you were young, you loved me so much, you used to want to watch me <laughs> poop. <laughs> Disgusting. The Happy Families Podcast is produced by Justin Rowan for Bridge Media. Craig Bruce is our executive producer. Have a great week as we move into Christmas, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.